Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to write a class in C++ and how the compiler works behind the IDE on Linux directly. Here we have just created a new application, C++ application, which I call my Qt test. So we started to create a class. The example we are going to use is to create a simple square class, which in this class we have a, a member called the side, and we have a two method. One is called the set side, another is called the get area. So we start from create class on the Qt create. So we go to my Qt test, we right click, click it's like add new and choose the C++ class and click choose. And I'm going to call the class called my SQRE square. Click next and click finish. So now it's a Qt creator is building the structure of new classes. So let's start from head file. So by default, Qt creator will create a class called my square and just create a new default constructor. So we're going to add a member here. And uh, the member we call this integer, we call the side. And we are going to create a two method. One is going to the side. We call the set side, which we pass the integer i. And we are going to set the side with the integer i. And we are going to another method. which will return the area of this square. And now let's go to my square.cpp for the D4 constructor. We're going to see set side equals zero. When we instantialize the object, we just put this side as zero. And we're going to have a void. Set side, it's in the equation. So this one I'm going to be make a side equal i. So this is going to set side. And then we're going to have another method. Could I get area? The integer so the square the area equals side times side so now we have our basic class is ready we have a default constructor we have a method set side we have a method get area and we have a member called side so now let's go to our main program the first we have to include a new header file, which specify the our new classes. So to instantialize instantialize the object, we are going to use my square. It's called a my SQR. It's so, so for the square, we have to have the side. So, so my SQR dot, because we have the method, let's say 10. And then we can get the area, see out, let's say, 
square r of a turn is and then we're using the my square dot get the area of method to get the area of square and change the line so now we say if we give the square set size 10 we can use the get error to get the error of square of 10 so if we set this as 15 and the square of 15 we are getting the area of square of 15 now let's run it to see So now we can see the square area of 10 is 100, square area of 15 is 225. So that works. <clears throat> so this is a basic uh, uh, class and how the class instantialized became the object and how you were using the object method to set the uh, member and of how to use an uh, method to get the area from the my square. Today, we are going to talk about another things. You see, this project we have a three files: one called the main CPP, another called the my square CPP, and then the header file called my square dot h. We are going to go to Linux to say how the Linux is working if we have multiple CPP files. So let's go to the terminal of Linux. So as we we'll see is in our project, my square, we have one main CPP, we have my square CPP, and then we have my square header file. So in the first video when we talking about how to compile, we just use this, we compile the CPP main, which contains the main function, we go to minus O, we give this my Qt test as a binary executable, but in this way, if we do this, you can see compiler complains that the undefined reference of my square, my square, which is right, because uh, my square is defined in this header file and this CPP file. So in this case, we have two CPP file. We want to build a executable application which from this both of this CPP file. How the compiler works this way? So the compiler has to do two steps. First step is to have to just uh, compile, so we have to use the minus C option here. So this means that we just uh, compile, we don't uh, link. So we just uh, compile. And uh, we have to compile another one. So we just uh, compile. So let's see what we have right now. So you can see after we did a compile, we got a two new files. It's dot o file, which we call this object file. So once we got this object file, we run this uh, compile again, which which these times we are not a compile, which we are linking these two object file together, and the generator executable I call the my Qt test. So let's go to the enter. And uh, let's see what we have right now. So this way, gen right now, we, this way we generate our executable binary. So let's run this. We got a square area of 10 is 100. Square area of 15 is 225. So this is uh, the this example we demonstrate how we compiler works with multiple CPP files for one application. In this example, we only have two CPP files, which is doable through this way. 
But in real time, real life, if you have a project, a huge project, have a thousand CPP file to build a, a application or hundreds, this way is pretty complicated, right? So in real world, we are going to do the do is create a make file and use the make method to making the project. So in some some of the future, we're going to demonstrate how you can cast, write your own customized make file and how to make your own customized project. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Wish this video you are enjoyable and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback.